Captain Catholic here. I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on how to play the Office uh, main theme. Uh, I also did a tutorial on how to play the piano theme that was seen in the Office retrospective, so make sure you check that out uh, if you're interested. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're just going to do this um, pretty slowly. Uh, I kind of stumble around when I try to explain what I'm playing, so I'll probably do more playing than talking, which is good for you. Uh, so anyway, um, let's get started. Um, so we're going to start out with the first part of the theme, which makes sense. <laughs> That's the first part. Really pretty simple. The left hand is really simple. I just realized it's not on the... Oh, okay. That looks better. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, so uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to start out with the uh, right hand. Right hand is really not too bad. Uh, the first thing is really just a G major chord. Uh, we have a G, a B, and a D. So, uh, and you're going to group together the B and the D. The G you're going to play separately, so it goes like this. So again, that's... And that's really uh, the first part there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to keep your um, two fingers on the B and the D, and, but you're going to move your thumb to the G flat. Uh, and. Uh, you're going to play the B and the D one more time exactly the same, but instead of playing the G, you're going to play the G flat. So it'll go. All right, so it's. See, I told you I'd, I explained everything wrong. So, all right, so uh, if we go back to the beginning, <clears throat> we have this. Now you're going to do this. So let's look at that last part again. So it's. too bad. So from the beginning, so far, this is what we have. Again. Not too bad. Then it'll go... So <clears throat> you're going to repeat uh, the... But you're going to switch. Uh, still playing the B, but instead of playing the D, you're going to play the E now. You're also going to go from the G flat back to the G. So let's Let's take a look at that quick part again. So again. One more time. And maybe another time. And one more time. Alright, so from the beginning, this is what we have. And I'm sorry, this is terribly confusing. Here we go. I didn't teach you that last part yet, but after we do this, you're going to go, so, and you're going to just uh, move your finger up to the C, so you're going to play the C and the E together, play up twice, well, actually I guess three times, and then you're going to do the little uh, piano part, here we go, so, so we got a C, but that's actually going to be, you're going to combine the C with the C, and then go to the B, A, B, G. So we got, all right, so uh, let's just, pl I'll play that really slowly again from the beginning. One more time. And one more time. I have a habit of saying one more time, but I mean like ten more times. Not too bad. Pretty easy. Uh, so now let's take a look at the left hand. All right, now the left hand is very, very easy, extremely easy. Uh, all you have to, that's what she did not say because Captain Kathy can't say that. But anyway, um, what um, the left hand is, 
is um, just really a couple of notes. It's a G, and it goes up to a B, down to an E, and then back up to a C. You're just going to hit the C twice. Uh, that's literally all it is for the beginning there. It's an absolute piece of cake. Um, so we got G, B, E, C, C. So again. Again. Pretty easy. So now let's see what it looks like when you put them together. Um, I'll play it slowly. Switch. 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 Play it again. Yeah. My terminology is a little off there, but I'll just say, well, you know what? I'm not going to say switch because it's probably going to be more confusing. Here we go. Let me play it a few more times slowly. You can play the beginning of the Office main theme, not too bad. Now we're going to get into the actual song. Give me a minute. Alright, so we're going to go to the main melody. Now this is extremely confusing to do a tutorial on. I'm really just going to have to show you some things because here's the reason. Oh, are you ready for it? So, uh, in the song, uh, the piano part that I just went over uh, basically keeps repeating. So you have a piano. However, it'd be kind of lame if all you did was just play the piano part over and over again because the real melody uh, of the main theme is played by an accordion. It's played by an accordion. So what I wanted to do for my version was include both the piano part and the accordion in the right hand. So your right hand is actually playing two different instruments. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teach you the main theme. So basically what the accordion plays. Um, oh, this takes me back to college. I went to the University of Scranton, so you wouldn't, you know, hear this theme a lot. So what we have is, um, let's see, start uh, at, at the G here, and uh, it'll go up to the next G, one octave up. So we just have two G so far. And the next couple notes you're going to have are uh, a G sharp, an E, and a D are really the only notes you're going to need. So uh, let's take a look. So it's G sharp, G, G sharp again, D, and an E. So let's take, I'll play that a few, a few more times slowly. Not too bad. Now it's going to go back to basically what was the uh, melody at the last part of the piano part. The accordion will play that. It goes... Not too bad. So uh, that's what we already learned with the piano part, but just in case you forgot, here we go. Again. One more time. Let's start from the beginning. Not too bad. Uh, so after that, it's gonna, uh, we just hit the G. You're gonna go back up to the, G, the other G again, but here's the melody. So, you're gonna have a G flat G A. And also an E are the notes you're going to want to look at. So let's look at that again. And again. One more time. Now it's going to go get a little bit different. Um, before repeating that other piano melody, you're going to need the D, the E, um, 
some of these notes here, I forget. Uh, so it'll go. Yeah, so it's D, E, D, B. Again. Again. We'll go right into the original piano melody. That's literally it. That's basically the whole accordion melody. So let's start that accordion melody from the beginning so, so we can see it. Repeat it again. Such a great melody. Again. Wait, wait, wait. And that's it. Uh, you just play through uh, the whole melody twice if you're doing the full theme. Uh, sometimes in the episodes they cut out a little bit of it, but the full theme, uh, you play through that twice. Um, so that is the main accordion piece. The thing is, in the song, you combine that with the piano part. Um, so I'll... Um, okay, let me play... Um, I'll just play... I have trouble separating the left hand and the right hand, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play um, what I play with both the right hand and the left hand. I'm going to play it very slowly, though. Watch how I combine the accordion part with the original piano part. So I'll start there from the beginning. screw that up. Anyway, um, so it really takes a lot of practice. Uh, I would just recommend maybe, you know, get everything down um, and kind of keep watching that part of the video. Just keep rewinding it, rewinding it, rewinding it, practice it. And eventually it'll, you, you'll get the hang of it. It's obviously very complicated to explain. You don't want a bubbling buffoon like me uh, try to explain it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, left hand now, which is very, very simple, fortunately. Um, what I do, what the heck, okay, Holy, I need a camera operator, where's Dwight? I'll make, a, if I had Dwight as a camera operator, it would be even better than the Diversity Day video Michael made. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm going to just turn this off. All right, so, um, left hand is very easy, and in fact, you already have learned it, basically. So, if you remember the intro up here, um, the intro up here, if you remember the intro, um, the left hand was on this octave. Okay, you get it. <laughs> okay, so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move down one octave. As soon as you start playing the piano melody, you're gonna move down one octave, at least this is what I do. Um, the sounds closest to the original recording. Um, and um, you're basically, you're just playing more or less the same notes as before, but you're playing them as a uh, 16th notes or 8th notes or whatever. You're playing them very fast. So uh, it's still just the G, the B, the E, and then the C, although we'll get to the, there's one thing about the C we'll get to in a minute. So you just go like this. So you're actually just playing them eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now 
it gets a little different when you get to the C. Um, uh, you'll go. Uh, so you keep hitting the C, and you're just going to play um, what the right hand accordion melody plays. You, uh, you're going to play that with your left hand as well, so it's uh, doubled. It's a cool effect. Um, so let's see what that looks like. do is the second time around, the second time you're playing the main melody, I throw in um, a double octave here because it, it sounds pretty cool with uh, two uh, octaves in, in the bass section. Um, the real song, I don't know if the real song does that, but the real song gets a lot more intense the second time. There's too many instruments to duplicate them all on the piano, so this is a, a good substitute. Uh, so then it just goes to two octaves. What I do is um, I use my pinky to get the bottom octave and my thumb to get the top octave, so let's take a look at that. You see, okay, yeah, we can see both. Um, all right, so really not too bad. Uh, what we can do now is I'll just play the whole theme. I'll put both hands together. Um, you can watch it. Oh, and at the very end, I'll teach you how to play the really uh, pretty cool high piano melody at the end. But let's let's just look at what we learned so far. <laughs> Check out my cup. You know, uh, it's actually a pretty decent cup. Anyway. Mm. What, uh, so let's, let's put that together now. Here we go. Can you see? Answer me. Oh, I forgot. Can't. Here we go. the double octave. That's where you play the piano uh, little melody here with the uh, higher part. Uh, pretty cool. Let's move the camera a bit that way. It's very simple. Um, it's really, I actually just realized the whole thing is basically just a G major chord. It's... Yeah, that's literally all it is, is a G major chord. The only notes you play are G's, B's, and D's. And you just kind of run up the scale, so it's... Oh, and they're all triplets, too, if that helps. More or less, they're all triplets. Except that D at the end, obviously, is not a triplet, neither is a G at the end. So, let's take a look at that again slowly. It's pretty easy. Okay, I've screwed up. This is your dude again. And a few more times. And again. That's it. That's the whole song. Uh, okay. That's about it. Michael Scott presents you with one Dundee and one Shroot Buck. So, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, just uh, send me a message on YouTube, post a comment, whatever. Uh, if you get a chance, please check out my website for more videos, CaptainCatholic.net. That's about it. Thanks, and have a fantastic day. <laughs> In a dark and hopeless city. Money! Money. 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 Money.
greed. You're going to hell in a handbasket. Arrogance. So what shop labor? <laughs> Injustice. This is America. Speak American. Bigotry. God hates you. Hatred. Abortion. And the death penalty. And violence run rampant. And not a single person will stop no me. No one will stop me. <laughs> but one church. One family. And one man stand in their way. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, oh. Uh, I'm sorry, my good man. I, I didn't mean to bump into the aisle. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>Who are you? Well, actually, I'm Captain Catholic. Here to spread the values of love, hope, and the Catholic way. I don't want that cake freak anywhere near me. God be with us. Let's get this party started. The Catholic Church will prevail! Fantastic! Love is never defeated. Captain Catholic. Welcome to CaptainCatholic.net, where you can find all 10 productions of the Captain Catholic series in their full and uncut forms. Theatrical trailers to all three Captain Catholic movies. Every segment of the Ask Captain Catholic miniseries. An extensive character section featuring spotlights of all 33 characters from the Captain Catholic universe. Informative research-based reports written by Captain Catholic himself on modern-day moral, political, and social justice issues with ideas for how you can be an active participant in transforming society into a more loving, fair, and just world. Captain Catholic like apparel for charity, offering Captain Catholic sweatshop free t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, and more. Captain Catholic merchandise for charity, offering Captain Catholic t-shirts, posters, bumper stickers, coffee mugs, wall clocks, and much more. Captain Catholic neckties and office supplies for charity, offering neckties, postage stamps, and binders. All merchandise profits go straight to charity, specifically to Catholic Relief Services, an organization providing assistance to the poor in over 300 third world countries. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started.